All right, this is the TE3000 recovery tank, solvent delivery tank, and a secondary vacuum tank. It serves three purposes. Let's go over the fittings on this. <clears throat> These are, this is a question I get asked by a lot of people. What is this thing right here? This is a push to connect. Whenever you take this recovery line, the black line, it goes right into this hole and it just pushes inside and if you tried to pull it it wouldn't come back out until you depress this retaining ring and hold it down then you can pull the line out this push to connect is just a convenient way of connecting a safe way of directing any flow that comes out of this fitting right here to a safe location it's easily removed and placed back on whenever you need it the thing that this is screwed to right here is a vented relief valve inline vented relief valve inline meaning that you can put an attachment like this in line and vent any pressure automatically when that needs to the vented relief valve is set to crack at 125 psi there is no reason why at the type temperatures that you're going to be extracting at that this tank would ever go above 125 psi unless you exceeded the pressure, the temperature drastically, you know, like over a hundred and way over 120 degrees, or the tank was completely full of liquid all the way to the top. There was no air inside. And then the liquid was ex heated and expanded and the tank would rupture if this thing wasn't on here. But since this is on here, it's going to crack at 125 and allow a vented inline release of any liquid that needs more space inside of this tank to get out and find it somewhere else instead, instead of the tank. So you've got your vented release valve, you've got a handle, you've also got your safety warning, maximum fuel, even the weight of butane in uh, grams, and um, you have it in, in milliliters right there as well, 12,000 milliliters. And uh, the tank is, it's got four feet on it, to keep it stable it's dished on the bottom so you have that you have a quarter inch for accessories pressure gauge a Schrader valve uh, another safety purge line that you can manually purge pressure off at any pressure you want you don't have to wait till it gets to you don't have to, well you don't wait till it's 125 but this is for 125 only this is manual and then you have two 3 8 connections one that's a safety quick disconnect nipple with a ball valve 3 8 and another safety quick disconnect disconnect nipple for uh, with a ball valve that's uh, also three S. This is one the safety quick disconnect nipple, and then this is the ball valve. And same here, ball valve safety quick disconnect nipple. Um, these are where you, since this is the um, liquid inversion, and instead of the siphon tube, um, you're going to be filling and draining from this one. You can fill and drain from this one, but when you drain, you'll have to invert the tank upside down to drain it out. And the only time you're going to do that is when you place this on the top of the column in there on the TE3000. And then this is your uh, secondary, and you can recover into this line uh, or this line when this is set up this way without the siphon tube. You can also recover into the siphon tube connection as well. It's just not as efficient if it was because then you're pushing liquid up inside as it fills, whereas this is just going inside and dripping down to the surface of whatever's in there. It's just more efficient to recover into this line. If you were using a siphon tube, you would, you would prefer to recover into this line. 